Well, welcome back to Bob's Tech Lab. Today, we're going to take a look at a simple project for the workshop. We're going to create a plans for a sawhorse. I've already got a model set up here, just give you some idea of what we'll be working with. We're basically going to make an I-beam. We're going to make some legs. We're going to put some ends on there. And it's going to stand about 24 inches in height. And obviously, these are two fours. The dimensions, uh, it's not super critical. We're probably going to end up making the top uh, not quite as long as it you see it here. All right, so let's get started. Let's go to Create New. Now, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts, R for rectangle. I'm going to make myself 2 by 4, 24 inches, comma, 3.5. And you can see me entering that in the lower right-hand corner. Hit the Select key. Or a space bar rather, that's going to give me the select tool. We're going to push pull, come up 1.5 inches. Now we have a two before. We're probably going to go ahead and highlight that, hit G on the keyboard. And now what we can do is take this, we're going to slide this over just a bit, hit the M key, control, move it straight up, Q for rotate. Grab this on the end, rotates around 90 degrees, hit M for move, move this on the end. Then we're going to zoom in a little bit, grab this midpoint. There, it's on the midpoint, hit select. That part's done, now all we have to do now is bring another copy. It's always better to, to copy than to redraw. Okay, we, got, we have a hold of it, we're going to copy, M. Control for copy, and we're going to move it up. We're going to zoom in, put it right on the midpoint, hit select, and now that part's done. All right, we're going to highlight everything, and we're going to make this a group. Now, if we bring up the outliner window, you notice it just says group, so we want to rename that I beam. And if we drill down, we can find out that there's three beams that, that make that up, and that's fine. All right, now the length is not quite exactly what we really wanted. We just started with 24. We want to make this 32. So one way to do that is to right-click, edit the group, right-click any of the components, and say edit components, because they're all components and they're copies of each other. P for push-pull. Start moving this out, and we'll hit tab. 8 inches, and just like that, all of them move together, and they give us the length that we're looking for. All right, now we're going to start the legs. Best way to do that, really, is to just grab the rectangle tool, move down here. We're going to just move over here. I want that three, so we want three and a half. All right, now I just need tab point five. Now we have the actual width that we're looking for. I'm going to get rid of this. Now obviously, we got to come down here a ways. So we haven't made this a component yet. We're going to bring this down, make it 24, one and a half inches. And now we should be at 24. We are. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dimension. Triple click G for component. And we'll call this leg. And that's done. Now, we're going to need four of these, so we might as well go ahead and copy this now. So I'm going to hit M for move. C to, there we go. We have a plus sign. Now it'll copy to the other end. That's fine. Now I'm going to hit copy again. Bring this point over here. And now what we could do, well, same thing. We can just select this one, M, control for copy. Grab this point because it's coming this direction. Now we got legs. Now these legs, we need to do something with them. Now I'm going to eventually create an angle here, but before I do, in order to put this together, I want to show you a trick. All four legs are components, and of course they're copies of each other. So I'm going to modify the legs. So what I can do, and we'll make a copy of another leg, hold down the shift key, bring along this red axis, and now we have a copy. So this is the one I want to work with. Again, it's a component now, so in order to change it, we're going to edit component. We're going to grab the protractor tool, 
and I'm going to create an angle. So I'm going to start here, bring it down to about 16 degrees. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Grab the line tool, go from this corner, and come in here, P for push pull, offset limit. That's what I was looking for. We'll delete that. I don't want that line now. So now we got the top part done. We also need to come down to the bottom. And it needs to have an angle this way because it's going to come out and I want that to hit the floor. So once again, we'll do the same thing. We're going to go ahead, add the component, protractor, bring this up 16 degrees, same angle, line tool. And then we're going to come in, push pull, offset. That's good. Now we want to get rid of this line. So spacebar to select. We're going to highlight that line, hit the delete key. Now that copy has been modified. And now you notice that all four legs have been modified. Now these legs are facing the wrong way. But that's fine. We can go ahead and flip along the green axis. And now that's flipped back around the way it should be. Flip along green axis. So all we got to do now is delete this one. And the reason we didn't do that the other way is because this I-beam was in the way. And rather than hide the I-beam, I just simply made a copy of one of the legs. When I modified that one leg, all the legs follow suit. Now we're ready to have some fun. We're going to go ahead and move this leg. We select it, Q to rotate, go on this corner, come over here, bring this out, tab 16 degrees, hit enter, spacebar to select, put it on the red axis, bring this out, tab 16 degrees, spacebar to select, we'll come back out here and do the same thing to this one. We'll grab this, Q, come out. 16 degrees, and then we'll Q, come back out 16 degrees, space bar to select. All right, now, what I want to do is position them. That's not how they're going to go in in the unit, but now they're in the right angle, or they, they're close enough. We want to grab this, hit M for move, bring this down to this point, over here, so that's touching. Now you see, because we did that angle cut, this lays nice and flat. It's real supportive. And look at there. We it ha we have it touching there, and that's exactly what I want to do. So we'll go in here and move the, ne the next one exactly the same way. Select it, M for move, bring it down, bring it down here. Come inside that corner, hit select so it doesn't move anymore. M for move, corner, in here, select, M to move. There it is, space bar. Okay, that part's done. Now we've been having some fun here, and now we've got Quite a bit. I've got SketchUp set to auto save, but just to be safe, let's go ahead and go to the file menu, hit save. We want to go to SketchUp Drawings, is a 2014 version. We're going to call this Sawhorse Demo. And we'll hit save. All right, we're almost done. We only have a few more things to do. We can look on it this way. Let's go ahead and change the camera angle, the angle of that camera rather, to parallel projection. Because what I want to do is put a cap here. So I'm going to zoom in. This is going to be arbitrary. So what I want to do is grab the tape measure, come to this point here, come down about 8 inches. Just so I have a line, I have a place to stop. And now I'm going to draw point to point to point. All right, now you see it's been connected. Push pull, bring this out, tab three quarters of an inch. That part's done. Let's get rid of this guide. 
one through three, G for component. We'll call it ends, create. And all we have to do now is it's already selected. I'm going to reselect just to be safe. I'm going to bring it back out along the red axis. There, that's good enough. And now I can grab this corner, move it into position, hit select so it doesn't move. I have that exactly where I want it. Now, to finish this up, all I'm going to do is extend the top of the two before. So it's in a group. So we're going to highlight. We're going to edit the group. And then we're going to click on this component. And we're going to tell it we needed to make it unique. We're going to edit the component. And now I can push pull. Come back out three quarters of an inch. We'll come back out three quarters. It normally re remembers the last thing you did, but I moved it the wrong way. So now the top is slightly longer than the rest of it, but it's working out pretty good. All right, so that's that's how simple it is to create a sawhorse. Now, next time what I'm going to do is take the same drawing and I'm going to embellish it. I'm going to add some scenes and I'm going to use some layers to help me do some dimensioning. So we'll finish this up next time. Once again, thank you for watching.